Hello YouTube, today at uh, powerjackrepair.org we got a Sager Clevo Co N850 HP or N850 HP6 the problem is the client had to wiggle the connector uh, here at the, at the jack to make it work and uh, to take the laptop apart is pretty easy just unscrew all the screws on the bottom Unscrew all the screws that hold the motherboard in place, flip the laptop over, remove the keyboard. Um, there are three or four cables under the keyboard which you need to disconnect and it's pretty much straightforward. I'm sure we have a video of that being taken apart uh, on our channel. And uh, so this is the replacement part right here, which we're gonna put in. Let me show you what the problem is with your laptop. I'm sure you have exactly the same problem because it's gonna be happening to every single one of you who has this issue. So you see this connection right here? This thing right here? It's all black and it's all oxidated. This is a positive. It doesn't make contact with the motherboard well because of this oxidation here because you had to wiggle the plug back and forth. So the oxidation right here is uh, basically means that uh, there is a spark happening between the motherboard and the pin and because of that spark uh, the current doesn't go through to the rest of the motherboard. It does go through sometimes when, when the arc happens, but uh, for the most part, this is your problem right here. And in order to fix it, we need to remove this piece, put a new piece in that doesn't have any oxidation on this pin right here. And when you remove this guy, you will see an oxidation right here, a black oxidation um, around the pin. So yeah, um, let me show you how to properly take it off the motherboard. We got thousand plus videos of different laptop mix and models, power jack replacements. That's all we do all day, every day. And uh, this is a thermal tape that prevents any other components on the motherboard from flying off the motherboard. When we're gonna be soldering in a second. And here we're pretty old. This is. This looks good. Now, if we flip it over, we can also see oxidation on this side. Assuming the camera is going to pick it up. Right uh, here. No, the camera not going to... Oh, no, it will. So right there, as you can see, there is a black ring right here. That doesn't uh, make contact with the top of the motherboard. So the plus is on the top and the plus is on the bottom as well. So. On both ends, uh, there is an oxidation and the only way to, well, there are multiple ways to fix it, but the best way is to just replace the whole piece, solder it on the top and bottom. And I'm sure because it's going to be soldered by hand, uh, the new, the new connector going to last much, much longer than the original one, because obviously nobody soldered it by hand back in the days. And uh, it seems like the motherboard is pretty thick. And when the motherboard is as thick as that, uh, the, uh, the, let's say, machine that solders all this stuff doesn't, uh, the, the solder doesn't get uh, penetrated so well into the motherboard, doesn't get soldered that well because the board is thick. It needs much higher melting temperature in order for everything to get soldered properly. So that's one of the reasons why every single one of those laptops will end up here because really nobody else in the world does that kind of repair all day every day. So if you want, you could send us just the motherboard, the price is right here. Or if you send us the whole thing, the price is right here. Those are the, oh, I need to update it for 2023. So hopefully, let's see if I can get update right now. All right, let's see, 20. 20. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, something happened. Okay, like that. So I updated the pricing right in the video. All right, let me show you how to do it. So basically, we're just gonna use some hot air, add some solder to mix the old solder with the new solder, and gonna pop it right off the motherboard. So let me show you with the pause button here. Alrighty, so the situation here is that I have a fan blowing full speed, so my voice isn't the best quality here. 
So we have a hot air, which we're gonna set to high temperature. All right, uh, just a little bit of air to warm up the motherboard. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna add some flux, like that, like that, and like that. And now once we added the flux, we're gonna add some solder. A uh, leaded base solder, gonna mix with the unleaded base solder. And we're recording, right here, we're recording. Okay, like that. So you see how my new solder just wants to melt right away. And the old solder doesn't even want to get penetrated in. All right, let's see if we can do this. And see if we can just, okay. So here we penetrate it. So once the uh, old solder mixes with the new solder, it's going to drop the melting temperature of the solder and we would be able to get this uh, connector out of the motherboard easy hopefully but because the board is thick the heat gets dissipated really well so sometimes you need to spend some time here trying to get this guy done because the other side didn't get soldered through i don't think the solder penetrated the other side so what I want to do here, I just want to add some solder on this end, add like that. All right, so good job. And we flip this guy over again. And what we're going to do next is we're going to probably boost up. I'll bring this guy closer. Boost up a little bit more temperature. It will warm up the motherboard much quicker. Now you should see that the uh, the heatsink is still attached to the motherboard. When the heatsink is still attached to the motherboard, it dissipates the heat from from the motherboard really well, and that's one of the reasons why this guy doesn't want to come out as easily. All right, so we want to remove the heat, and now we want to we want to just uh, get all the solder off. All right, we're using the desoldering quick. There are links, links in the description of everything I'm using to get the solder out. All right, let's see. I mean, everything that's being used here is being used in the link below. All right, let's do that stuff here. All right. All right. Come on. Oh, almost there. Let's fit this guy over. And get all this solder from this end. All right. Let's drop the temperature a little bit come on all right so i want to do this while the board is nice and hot because otherwise all right so we're just gonna work this guy right here And then and then come on. Solder doesn't want to melt here, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit more solder to this end. We will penetrate the, the, this uh, trace with the this hole, so to speak, with more solder, and then we're gonna get this guy done right here. Alrighty, let's see how well this thing worked. Now it didn't work. How about now? 
Okay. No. No way. Let's bring this guy a little bit closer. Nope. Doesn't wanna. Doesn't wanna melt here. All right. So let's do the same thing here. All right. All right. So now we're gonna do this. We're gonna heat up this guy. And at the same time, while we're heating this guy up, we will try and get all of the solder out from this hole. All right, good job. Good job. As you can see, all of the holes are nice and empty. Alrighty, we remove the uh, thermal insulation. And nothing is damaged, that's a good thing. Alright, and here on this end everything looks fine. Let's compare the two parts. Let's compare the two parts. They are identical, this one is a bit hot. So, here. What we're going to do next is we're going to put some flux here on this side. All right. We're going to put this guy right in there. Like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just, I will just solder a little bit here on the top. And yeah, good luck because... This thing needs a lot more heat for that stuff to be soldered well. Uh, let's do it here. All right, good job. Here we flip this guy over. Let's put some support underneath it. Basically like that, and like that. Still in, in the picture? Yep, we're still, still in the picture. So like that, all right, good job. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna just flux this whole thing up. Like that. Like that, like that, like that, good job. And... We're just gonna put some fresh solder here. Good job. Fresh solder right there. The flux allows for the much more solid connection. It makes the solder flow much easier to everywhere where you want it to flow. Alright, so here. Like that. And then we got this guy here and uh, what you want to do you want to penetrate as much solder through as possible on this positive end and then you see that nothing came out the other end so we need to put as much flux on this side on this side in the back All right and solder it from the back as well Alrighty, let's solder it from the back, and let's solder it from the back. And we got solid solder on both ends, so that's a good thing here. So what we want to do is we want to trim the piece, the soldering piece, uh, shut down the soldering iron, get rid of the gloves, I right, put the new gloves on. Here, what I'm doing is I'm just gonna clean up the the excess flux. 
from the motherboard and make it nice and pretty here that looks good looks wonderful and on the other side the same thing i will let it dry up a little bit then reassemble everything and everything should work fine so yeah thanks so much for watching please leave a like subscribe and you guys take care and have a good day thanks